Hi everybody, welcome to today's video. We are going to be talking about how to learn Salesforce. And first and foremost, before even hopping into the video, we wanted to be able to congratulate you on taking this important step to starting your Salesforce journey. So for this video, we would like to be able to show you what a typical year may include. And the breakdown is going to go between your first day, your first week, your first month, your first three months, and then also how a year span would look. The goal is to help pace you throughout this next year and make sure that you start your career and grow in it as well. So we are going to be talking about signing up for a Trailhead account. We're going to be talking about finding communities to join. We're also going to be talking about the benefits of finding your personal learning style because there are many of them. And then, of course, we're going to be talking about the advancements of your credentials over time. So, all right, Trailblazer, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so once you are ready to sign up, the only thing that you'll do is click that little blue button that says sign up on the top right. Make sure you are picking an email, which you will check often because you will be receiving a lot of important emails directly from Trailhead in regards to perhaps updates that you need to make, special events, but also in regards to your certification. So once you're ready, again, just go ahead and click that blue button on the top right. All right, so this is what your page is going to look like once you do sign up. You will see all of the tabs above listed from today all the way to COVID-19. You will have an overview of all of the modules and projects that you're doing. So this is a great personal tracker for you to see how you are doing over time. So definitely make sure to check out this page. And then lastly, you wanna make sure that you have your profile set up. So within your profile that you signed up for, you're also gonna have a profile page. This is gonna be into total reference of you. And you might be asking why you're gonna be creating a profile. And that's simply because recruiters, employers, or other people are going to be checking out your profile to validate the credentials that you do have. So to summarize day one, which congratulations you just completed, is to make sure that you did sign up for a Trailhead account. Also, make sure to get familiar with the Trailhead platform. And then for number three, definitely make sure to set up your profile. All right, so let's go ahead and navigate to how your first week would look. All right, so now that you familiarize yourself with the Trailhead platform, you want to make sure that you're setting up realistic goals for you to be able to eventually get to your certification and pass it. So the great thing about Trailhead is that they provide pre-designed trails for you to be able to follow and complete. Now, these trails are going to be broken down into modules. Every module is going to build off of each other and teach you more about the Salesforce platform. Now, the most important part here is navigating back to well, how many modules should I do a day to be able to get to my certification? So the goal when you are learning these modules is to keep at a steady pace. And there we do suggest you doing either one to two modules per day. And you can check out any of the trail mixes on the Salesforce administrator page. If you scroll down, you can see some of the trail mixes provided to you. Down in the article as well, we have listed some trail mixes for you to be able to check out. All right, so now that you have established a timeline for you to be able to understand the modules and work through them. The next step in your first month is going to be meeting other trailblazers out there. There are a whole bunch of other people who are on the same journey that you are. And the number one thing that I would personally say when you're in this learning journey is to do it with other people. Communicate with them or meet them, get to know them, hear their experiences and also share yours with them as well. So now Trailhead has a whole bunch of community groups available to you to join for free. If you wanted to access them and find out what type of groups are available to you, all you'll do is click the community tab, click the groups, and you'll be navigated to this page. Now, since you are specifically on your admin journey, we have already filtered down the type of groups that you would be interested in joining. So take note for this in the future. Once you do start advancing in your career, you can filter down to what type of groups you would like to join. For demo purposes, we have admin right here on the top right in the search bar. Once I clicked enter, you're going to see a whole bunch of featured groups for you to join. Now, the top ones are going to be the general ones where we're all admins join. And then the really cool thing about Trailhead is that you have groups depending on your location. So that means that you can be either local Cool. or you can even have global groups that you can be a part of. So definitely make sure to check out this web page. There's a whole bunch of groups for you to be able to join. You can also look in other places such as LinkedIn. You have Facebook groups. You also have Slack and Discord channels. And then if you want a more extensive list, Salesforce Ben also has one as well. So definitely make sure to check out that specific list in the description below. 
As you check out those lists, always remember when you're on the learning journey with somebody else, it just makes yours and theirs so much better. So definitely make sure to get out there, meet new people and learn new things. Let's go ahead and hop to how your first three months will look like. All right, so you've been learning Salesforce for around three months and you've probably picked up on areas that you like doing and that you probably don't want to do, but you know you have to. Take note of this because this is really important as you start advancing in your career. You might be better at dashboards or you might like creating formulas. You might like the sales and marketing perspective of Salesforce. Any of those pieces that you start noticing about yourself Start listening to those little voices because that will help you with the specific niches and paths that you may want to go down with your Salesforce career. So as you continue doing certain modules, you're going to notice that you enjoy certain things. And once you pick up on those little niches, you can start designing your path for where you would like to go. So for example, if you like the service aspect of it, perhaps you can dive into field service lightning. If you have an interest in CPQ, you can do that too. But if you find yourself also very in liking of the marketing route and the sales route, you can combine those. So start thinking and start writing down these areas that you do like, so you can start creating your own path. And that's the most exciting part about Salesforce is that you don't have to stick to an area just as an admin or a developer. There's so many different routes that you can go, and this is where you're going to start discovering it. So it's very exciting. So as you start completing those modules and finding a little bit of an interest in which you see yourself going, this is also where you're going to be studying for your Salesforce administrator exam. So as you start studying, do utilize the practice exams that both Trailhead and other platforms provide for you. They're a great way to be able to get hands-on experience. All right, yay, you've been in the ecosystem for a year, you've done a lot of things, you've done a lot of learning, you've met a lot of people, but now let's go ahead and talk about advancing your professional career and also adding on new and fun certifications. So you might be asking why am I getting another certification? And that's a completely valid question. The answer to that question, however, though, is because as you keep advancing, you're going to be exposed to different type of Salesforce clouds. Now, whether that be service cloud, marketing cloud, Pardot, CPQ, financial services cloud, whatever it may be, you want to be able to add on to that knowledge that you currently have and showcase to clients, perhaps future employers of the knowledge that you do have and the ability that you do have to be able to grow in the Salesforce ecosystem. So hopping back to the discussion that we just had about your three week learning journey, you want to pick up on those little niches that you start to enjoy. Now, I will say that perhaps you're doing consulting, you're an admin, you might sometimes hop into a cloud that you don't really want to work with, and that will most likely happen. But if you do find areas that you are interested in, start again, taking note of that and pivoting down those ways. So that way you can study for a credential and a certification that you really do enjoy. And eventually you can actually put that knowledge to use with the client. So this cross cloud knowledge will really not only benefit you, but it will also showcase your employer and your clients just how knowledgeable you are with Salesforce. So definitely make sure you explore the different type of niches and paths that you can go down. And don't forget, talk to others. You may not be interested in a certain cloud, but you won't really know that until you actually get to talk to other people. So definitely take advantage of those community groups. So there you have it, Trailblazer. This one year outline gives you not only a glimpse into what your Salesforce journey will look like, but really it should help you see the importance of time management, community building, understanding your learning habits, but also encourage you to want to explore different paths within the Salesforce industry. Try to treat this as a navigational compass to be able to not only help motivate you in your journey, but also to encourage you to be as successful as possible. We wish you a good luck and a happy learning. Bye.